it's the spirit and and the, the yeah the charity that it's all about and everybody's family if you don't run into somebody you know here something's wrong because this is awesome it's the energy around and what it's for it's a great cause so. and it's pulled all 1600 people today actually working together for the same cause and it, it's really great so everything they do is is to contribute to someone else so in in not only this community but I live in Vero Beach they've made contributions to people there to help pay their bills at Moffitt people who really can't afford to like Linda could afford to fly out to Houston for her treatments at MD Anderson but there are a lot of people who can't and that's the whole goal is to help people who don't can't get help and need help and to see the joy that they are bringing to people's lives who are struggling. And so I'm a any little thing, survivor. yeah. So, uh, so. It, 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 it's a, a wonderful feeling, and just to see how it has grown. We've been here all three years, and to see that we've doubled the size of the participants, and just seeing people out and wanting to help. So. I think it's raised cancer awareness a great deal. You know what? Uh, a lot of people I talked to over the last few weeks were cancer survivors or were running um, in honor of a cancer survivor. So it's kind of spread beyond um, Linda to involve a lot of cancer survivors in the entire community. Well, for one thing, I'm not from this community, but we drove in for the run, and it's, it not only brings attention to cancer survivors, but it also raises funds to help those survivors through the process. So we're proud to be part of Team Curtis, <laughs> and uh, we're one of the sponsors, and we have our beautiful shirt on today. So proud of Barbara and uh, Linda for doing this. I'm just so touched that they would be uh, doing this for their community and giving back to their community just through their journey. And part of the whole mission is through love and laughter and faith and that we get through our challenges in our lives. So I'm just happy to be here. So thrilled to be a part of uh, Linda's Living the Dream Run. How has Me Strong made a difference in the community? Well, it's brought everyone together. Um, you know, I go to Stetson. I'm not technically from Deland, um, but I'm here and I'm with everyone from the community and we're all here to support me strong in this great cause that actually gives back to local cancer patients. So it's really nice. Thanks. We have a very loving, supportive community yeah. and I personally know Linda Ryan. She's a great person. She is a survivor and my daughter Nadia is a survivor for two years of lymphoma. So we're out here to support the community, support anyone who's been touched and had someone hurt by cancer, lost someone by, from cancer. We just want to support everyone in the community and say we love you and you have friends. In the community, look at this. I mean, you've got 16, 1,700 people that have all come out for a race and to raise money for a good cause. I mean, this does everything for the community and does everything for Deland. So I think it's amazing. Well, I go to college at the University of Florida, and I came down here just to see all my friends and to run the race and to support cancer. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's grown so, so much. Everyone's involved. Everyone's enjoying it. Groups like ours, the GRC, the Greater Running Club of Deland, were involved. You come out, you make a difference. It's just a fun event. Oh my gosh, it's been it's been pretty awesome. It's a uh, it's really neat to see a really small town completely come together and support a, a, a friend, a lady. It's um it's like changed the whole community. Everybody rallies and supports, and it's really quite emotional and quite awesome to see. It made the community stronger because we're joining together to fight against cancer. Oh, it's amazing. Just the amount of awareness it's brought um, to, you know, to cancer awareness and everything and bringing everybody in the community out together in one big place is so awesome. How has Me Strong made a difference in the community? Me Strong's made a great difference in the community by helping to raise money for all these cancer victims and cancer patients. And it's a great way for the Deland community and Stetson all come together for a great event. How has Me Strong made a difference in the community? It helps to provide a community-oriented um, um, family so that people know more about cancer research for all of us here locally in Volusia County. How has Me Strong made a difference in the community? 
Um, I mean, Adcor has recently been involved with Me Strong for the past two years. I know they're very heavily involved in the community as far as um, really giving a good outreach and awareness for cancer. It's very important. It's a great cause, great story. Um, so, I mean, I think they're doing a great job and, you know, they're a phenomenal organization. Well, we had 1,700 people running down the road today for a healthy, active lifestyle. The land is definitely transforming, getting a lot healthier, coming together. We love Linda. Thanks for starting this for us. Go to land. Um, I guess the first mile, it was pretty fun. I mean, seeing everybody just cheering and then being up there with the pack, it was just a good atmosphere, fun. Um, I think it was probably on Minnesota when they had the big neon circles, and I could see it from far away, so it was very encouraging. What was your favorite part of the race? My favorite part was seeing all the fashion plates cheering everyone on because I'm in fashion plates and that was nice. My favorite part of the race was that every corner there were people cheering for you and you didn't even feel tired. What was your favorite part of the race? Um, the bands playing along the way and all the cheering. What was your favorite part of the race? I like the course. I like running through historic downtown, especially finishing on Indiana. It's my favorite. Finish line, seeing everyone's faces as they cross the line. Knowing what they're here for in the first place, to support cancer. That was my favorite part. And my favorite part was everybody cheering us on. It just, it really helps keep your energy up and keep you going. It's nice. What was your uh, favorite part of the race? Oh, my favorite part was probably uh, for Whitney, the memory lane for the memory for Whitney um, Lane. That was probably the most inspiring. And then rounding the corner right here, everybody cheering. It was a great race. The fans on the outside, it was definitely the best. Keeps you going, gets you run faster. I love it. What was your favorite part of the race? Probably the beginning and the end, most definitely. I just love the excitement and everyone's here and it was a good turnout. What was your favorite part of the race? Uh, seeing that finish line right there, coming around the corner. What was your probably, favorite part of the race? Probably all the help, all the little cheerleaders out here rooting everybody on. It's yeah. good to see Delane in action, so. Yeah. I think it's great because it's downtown and brings the community together, it's, it's, it's very nice about it, and it's for a great cause. I really like the um, sense of community that we get here, you know, around every corner you get a lot of support, you know, people playing music, cheerleaders, you know, the Stetson students cheering and stuff, and for us, we, we both signed up last night, and we needed that little bit of extra push, so that was really uh, beneficial, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't train at all for this. Like she said, we just signed up last night. So all the little signs along the way really kept me going when I wanted to quit. I saw a little sign, be strong for me strong. I was like, oh, I can't stop now. I got to keep going. So it was, it was great. Um, the, the course itself is a little more challenging because you have a lot of inclines and declines, small hills that you really feel it when you're, when you're running, especially when you get to the end and you're still doing a climb. <laughs> and different than any other race because along the way it seemed like every block there was a family or a group or cheerleaders or some organization that's cheering you on, balloons, everything. It was or a live, awesome. A live band was playing too. Yeah. Lots of live bands <laughs> playing. Lots of community <laughs> spirit. <laughs> Entertainment, you forgot you were running. Yeah. <laughs> Took the pain away. What was your favorite part of the race? Running with my buddy. Running with my buddy. And me too. Um, just seeing everybody outside their houses and the uh, um, Stetson campus, all the students out there cheering us on, just made you keep going, made you want to run faster. It, it was a really good race. What was your favorite part of the race? The finish line. Why? Because it was over. Finishing. <laughs> what? Uh, it's early. I'm tired, but it was fun. And it's fun to see everybody walking around here and they're all excited and happy to be here, get some water in them and be here for a good cause. So, Besides running, yeah. the camaraderie of all the people here supporting cancer, that's a major thing. Been there and done that, I know what it means to be a survivor of cancer. And I hope this program helps the research and people with cancer. Thank you. It's a local race and you're here supporting you know, a local program versus a national race where it, the money is divided up among all different kinds of charities. So it's a local race and local people and you get to see your running partners and a lot of camaraderie here. Thank you.